Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about cholesterol. Now, uh, there is a big uh, debate about statins and how bad they are for you. If your cholesterol goes high, the biggest thing to do is to find out why it's gone high, not just to lower it. And I think cholesterol's had quite a bad rap, when in fact it is an essential part of the body. So let's have a, a look at um, cholesterol and maybe sort out the truth and the myths. Uh, almost all of your body uh, has cholesterol in it and most of the cholesterol in your body is made from your body and very little is in fact made from the food that you eat. In fact every day we produce 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol. Just to put that into um, perspective that's the same as a whole pound of butter or 14 eggs or 300 rashers of bacon. So obviously reducing your cholesterol from your food intake is not really going to have much of an, uh, an impact. And of course there is the other thing, the body is amazing, it knows what it needs. So if you do reduce your cholesterol from food, your body quite simply just produces more because it needs the cholesterol. So if your body needs it, we need to find out um, what is it actually doing so we can really understand that cholesterol is essential and we need to be a little uh, more precise when we look at why we're taking statins and things like that. So what does it do? Well, it's, it's essentially needed for every membrane because all cell membranes are made from cholesterol. Uh, that is the thing that allows any nutrients to enter the cell. So obviously without cholesterol, we'd have a bit, bit of a problem. The fat soluble vitamins, which are A, D, E, and even K2, need a bile to be able to work within the body and bile is produced by cholesterol. So again, if you're short of cholesterol, you're gonna have a problem with those vitamins and so you're gonna have some other problems. The biggest thing is when you start lowering cholesterol, people's immune system is actually uh, slightly lowered because cholesterol feeds the immune system. Uh, and also fatigue can set in and you can have problems with muscle cramps and that's because cholesterol makes the myelin sheath, which is the uh, surrounding all muscle tissue. So cholesterol really does have a key part to play in your body's function. Now, when you go to the doctor, a lot of people talk, talk about bad and good cholesterol. There is really no such thing as good and bad cholesterol. Uh, it's more about the ratio of HDL compared to LDL. And uh, both those aren't even cholesterol. Uh, they are lipoproteins, uh, which have a cholesterol package within them. Uh, LDLs used to be thought of as bad because um, they were wrongly attributed to uh, blockages in arteries but that has since been disproved and we're now looking at a thing called very low density lipoproteins. Um, that is for another video and if you're really interested in it do make some comments below and I'm quite happy to go into a deeper science because obviously cholesterol is a, is a major uh, problem for a lot of people they don't really understand it and they're on statins and not feeling particularly great so uh, do comment below and tell me your experiences of a any uh, bad experiences or good experiences with statins and your views on cholesterol I'd love to hear them